Hello, my beautiful soul. Welcome to this reading and warm welcome to this channel. Well, <laughs> it is the full moon again. Yes, indeed. It is a super moon. It's blue moon for whatever reason, but it's actually not as blue as you would think it is because it's actually, if you look in the sky tonight, um, today is what, 19th of um, August, tonight or tomorrow, whichever part of the world you live, you will see kind of spooky, orange, red-ish full moon. Now, it is a fact, and I'm, you probably know this, emergency services, like police, ambulances, and all the kind of things, uh, medics, they do report that when there is a full moon or coming closer to full moon and around full moon, things are getting really heated. Mm -hmm. So I would just want to see as well, do you feel a little bit short-tempered? Uh, uh, whatever, feel agitated sometimes. And some people or some particular zodiac signs, whichever placement you have in your chart, feel this different. For myself, for myself personally, not every full moon has affected me as to others. And there's a reason for it, right? Of course. We are, in a way, different, connected. We are like 80, 70, 80% the water and moon controls the water, right? Anyways, let's dive in. Thank you so much for being here. Um, I'm going to have a pick a card reading for full moon energy. Look, full moons resonate with closure, something culmination, some sort of explosion, some sort of a completion. And you know this, that when some one door shuts, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, full, dot, 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 another door opens, right? Exactly. Right, let's dive in. Right, I'll pop in timestamps for you, my beautiful soul. So, there is no right or wrong. You can drop uh, in between the groups. Take what resonates, leave the rest. All is well. This is a safe space, so this is a safe space. for. Is it strangely, lately, um, there has been some, like, specific message coming out for someone even before i'm putting groups out we have four ones some sort of stability and someone is maybe building home or buying home or growing or building some sort of foundation this is a card of foundation celebration and once you have strong foundation you're going to build something really strong and you will never experience tower moments okay um this is very ever so beautiful this is uh, celebrating coming together Building some partnerships even as well. Right, okay, let's let's pop down group number one, two, and three. Right, full moon energy messages. You ready? Let's dive in. Group number one, welcome, welcome, welcome. So what this full moon is bringing for you? Wow, temperance, healing. Okay, so I straight away saw um, um kind of like um vision, like um like a film. Um, someone is walking away. Someone is walking away from your life. And whatever was was this person good or bad doesn't matter. You come, you have been left with some sort of aftermath that you need to deal with. Tie up the loose ends, um, kind of, kind of get this bad taste out of your mouth, even in a kind of ways. Okay, uh, could it be person? Could it be relationship? Could it be work? You know, just something you are kind of leaving behind. And absolutely right with the full moon energy here, it kind of brings to that. You know what? I just can't be dealing with this anymore. And, but I feel like that situation is moving away from you. Funny enough, and if you are experiencing that. Something is happening, let's say, um, even out of your reach. Some things are not happening. You feel like there's some door shutting in front of you. There's a reason for it. They were not meant for you. Something is not happening for a reason, and it's actually a blessing. Okay? So, um, hence, I've, I'm feeling that you're just going to be dealing with some sort of aftermath. Let's find out what is this about. You're learning new ways of de dealing. I do feel as well, if you are 
if you are in partnership or in relationship and this person has walked away or this person has changed, you are adapting how to deal with this different ways of living, um, different ways of um Maybe the person is, um, you still may be living together, but you're not communicating anymore. Or some sort of drastic changes here. And you're learning how to navigate this. There's a lot of, uh, wow, thank you. Yay. We have the sun. Overall, you might not feel that way right now, but overall it's very positive, positive energy. Okay. So, which is good, which is really, really good. So, yes. <laughs> eight of cups someone is walking away we were talking about that. someone is walking away why i want to see why because they found something else whoa <laughs> i just did who it no i just recently did um reading for who is avoiding you and if i remember correctly one of the groups i'm not gonna spoil it there was actually a person that has exactly the same situation. That something else, something shiny came to them or they had wandering eyes. Something was just kind of like too convenient. And I said to you afterwards, whoever got this group, uh, I said, not just you, not just they should avoid you, but you should actually avoid that person as well. No more. They ta taught you a lesson. It kind of, kind of feel like, even though you might feel a bit troubled and you feel like you're missing something, I don't see that much, but you're kind of like getting your head around. You really, it kind of feels like you are really tucking into this new, what is coming in your way. And it's a new experience with the new kind of ways of feeling, but you're really running for your future. You're really looking for, okay, what I'm going to do next. You're kind of trying to keep busy constantly now. Um, so maybe you don't have to think about this person. Oh, this is interesting. This person has done this before. This is interesting. The card was already turned upside down. Six of Cups. This person has done this before. So it's not really a surprise for you, okay? But it does feel like, hmm, here we go again. I knew it's going to happen, okay? So it kind of, you might sometimes feel, gosh, have I manifested it? But you know what? What just happened? You have, got, you have gained your independence. And you will feel like, hmm... I'm actually quite happy and glad. Look, it's a habit maybe sometimes to live with a person to deal with certain things. But for now, it's actually quite okay. Quite okay. So let's have a look at where you're going next. What's happening in your life? Wow. Four of Cups. Kind of could be some time. Give yourself a little bit of time. Okay. Uh, give yourself to heal. Heal yourself to kind of get your head around. Maybe redo some hobbies, whatever you want. Okay, give yourself a time, but because I feel like some of you are rushing into something completely new. Okay, really stepping onto someone's toes. And um, one thing I would like to say, do not gossip. Okay, stay proud. Do not wash your laundry in the public. Um, you are, some of you are not sleeping well, but you are going to receive some sort of messages. There's some sort of mystery. You're trying to figure out something here as well. But... And here we go, Pisces. Um, there's some sort of mystery. Why is this happening? And you feel like, why is this happening to me all the time? But let's have a look what what you need to learn from this situation, perhaps, and how to move forwards. Let's have a look. Give and take. You've been always the one who gives. And I'm going to show you something here. Imagine just breathing out. Because you're giving out something. You're giving your energy, positivity, money, uh, love, whatever it is. Just breathe out, breathe out, breathe out. Don't stop. Breathe. Keep breathing out. Keep breathing out. What's going to happen? You're going to suffocate. And the same thing happens here. Energy exchange needs to happen. You need to breathe in, take something, and breathe out, give out. And I feel like there has been some... There has not been some... There has been some sort of stagnation of energy. Okay. One for the road, one for the road. No, yep, it is. Four of Pentacles. Okay, so it feels like you're very close off. The Four of Pentacles, like she's holding off to those pentacles, and I was like, I don't trust anyone. I'm just keep, keeping things to myself. 
if that's the case, you need to heal that way. That's fine. But don't be lo closed off completely. Time will come. Okay. Mm hmm. You're a little bit confused, and it's okay because currently you maybe have so much noise, so much thoughts, feelings happening, and you just kind of like, I just don't know. Am I coming? Am I going? What's happening? Okay, and it's it's perhaps it's a good time to really connect with who you are and spend your some time some meditating, whatever meditation means for you. Cutting grass, cleaning house, walking dog. Okay, whatever it is. Connect with yourself. Connect what you want. Who you truly are. Don't rush into things. It's like running from a frying pan into the fire. And the situation happened for a reason. You're protected. You're safe. And once, once the time set, dust settles and the time will be right... You're going to move forward again. Always. <laughs> and that's all I have, my beautiful soul. Thanks so much for being here. I'm sending you love and light. And if you think someone else might benefit from this reading, please do not be a stranger. Send this reading to them as well. Alrighty. Group number two. This full moon energy. What it is bringing to life. Three of cups. Celebration. New friends. New... Hmm, I'm seeing someone with a pen. You know, it was old days, like, I don't know. Pen, pa no, pen pals. Yeah, people who were exchanging letters or they were not familiar with themselves, with the, the person. It probably were similar now in, 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 in social media, you know. Sometimes you could be talking a person, there's a picture on whatever. You don't know is that the true or not. And you're engaging, right? And you, the person could be playing a role or whatever it is. But I feel like there's a very beautiful celebration. There's some sort of celebrating um, aspect of either wedding or um, positive celebration of new job, baby, whatever it is. It's kind of like very positive, positive, positive. Uh, let's find out um, what is this about. It, it kind of feels as well that you, some of you want to have new friends, new kind of peer group. Maybe you are going to join some group knitting class whatever or um yoga gym or even online whichever suits you okay so let's have a look what is this about group number two okay so someone is seeking uh help professional help so hear me out i'm not i don't practice medical um no, practice okay so if you need anything uh, medically or mentally please reach out for professionals however i feel like some of you are feeling maybe you are stuck kind of feels like the lockdown once again okay uh you might have felt like you have not been going out you might not be engaging with people and now suddenly like you're opening the doors and windows and like oh it's so nice to be out and about you know it kind of felt that you were outsider in the ways and you felt like you didn't belong somewhere but you found your kind of niche. Maybe you found your peer group. And and very often that if you are in some sort of taboo uh, niche area that you are interested in. Okay, for example, like the tar tarot, right? There are countries where you cannot do tarot. So if that's the case, okay, um, it could feel like that you are kind of outsider in ways. Um, interesting, we have the Wheel of Fortune underneath. There's some sort of luck is coming your way. And you're feeling like maybe you can stumble across a new book or a new blog or a new some sort of website or or um, even channel where you feel like you belong. Even though along you felt like kind of outside that you didn't belong. Wow, look at You cannot make this up three cups twice. Like a girl power, you know, like, um, doesn't matter. Girl, girls, boys, men, men, ladies, gentlemen, doesn't matter. It kind of feels like... It, if, if you are struggling for some whatever reason, we just had a hangman here. You've been hanging on to something or hanging, um, kind of suff suffering and su suffocating. And underneath we have nine swords, interestingly. There's something that you are letting go. Um, that's been going for some time, okay? Uh, it could be over a person. It could be over situation you were not able to get out of your head. Maybe you have, like, feel like you have OCD, which is obsessive-compulsive 
uh, disorder sometimes but what is jokingly people do say that when they feel like they can't brush off some sort of event or thought and they keep coming back they have the nine of cups this is your desire and magician your there's something beautiful happening right now there's some sort of massive change hence we had this wheel of fortune there there's some sort of shift happening and you're actually gonna feel within yourself that you know what hold on a second I actually do feel different i do feel a bit more uplifted look at the cups they're kind of flying you know like emotionally you feel much better this is very individual card this is not as much sharing with other people perhaps but this is kind of like a personal level selfishly whichever you want to call it you feel much better this is your dream maybe you are um geeking out with other your friends okay whatever that is it kind of some sort of is it could be as well that this is some sort of a long um wanted dream interesting we have like a four cup four cups in here okay you have the tower you had some sort of eureka moment you realize i kind of feels like you're waking up and you're walking away from um past and place spaces as i'm saying always it kind of feels that you know what enough is enough with that darkness and or suffering um and the tower when it happens it's kind of real light bulb moment literally light bulb moment okay um uh, whatever the situation is something has woken you up whatever it is there's some sort of a health issue or whatever has really made you realize interesting we have ten of swords again um kind of real underneath there's some sort of bubbling issues that are happening ten of cups look at that happy 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 um yeah, and I kind of feel like you're meeting a person or group of people that you're surrounded by them. You truly belong there. There's some sort of completion. We have the Ten of Swords. Um, it does feel like, you know what? Yes, I might have realized and, and, and come to the point of no return and kind of lowest of lowest. But from now on, the only way is up, baby. The only way is up. Let's have a look at your outcome or advice uh what we have for you wow we have nine pentacles and the hangman you're experiencing or again a weak moment like the light is around you there and this time with the next with ace of swords uh, no, as well some sort of eureka moment is happening some sort of light bulb moment what i call it okay and regarding money and you realize hold on a second hold on a second hold it on okay the hangman i can actually make money with this and you turn this negative, dark, maybe moment or experience into something shiny, nice and lovely. <laughs> all right, my beautiful self, that's all I have for you. And thank you so much for being here. If you think it resonates, press the thumbs up. It really helps me. Okay. And subscribe if you want to hear from me again. And of course, if you think someone else may benefit, please share this with them as well. But for now, love you and leave you. And I shall see you in the next reading. Ta da! Alright, take group number three. You ready? Let's dive in. Full moon energy. What's for you? Eight of Wands. Wow. Wow. Whew. The age group is super different. Super, super different. We have Eight of Wands. Communication, travel, quick, moving parts. Things are happening quick, 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 fast, 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 you know, like fast moving. Do you ever have in your life when there is like nothing's happening? It's just like BAU, business as usual, blah, 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 you know, you know, nine and five and pick up the kids and doing that. And it just seasons go by. But then suddenly and literally one week's time or two weeks time or months time, so much happening. And this one I'm seeing here with you, this feels like there's you happen like you have like years long events are happening literally in in few days time nearly okay i am exaggerating okay but i feel like you're experiencing very really lot of uh things like that so we have a yeah of course fast moving things are happening okay 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 so they could be not for everyone but they could be a person from the past I want to quickly have a look. Is this true? Yeah, this is a person you wanted or this person really wanted to contact you or connected you. And somehow maybe they lost your contacts or um, were not able to be with you or connect with you. They are reaching out and the, there's a communication happening. There's a real kind of a moment. Why? Because 
either. Okay. Why they didn't, some of them, and it might not resonate with Deborah, and that's absolutely fine. Some person who wanted to contact you didn't do so. Look at the card just jumped out. Didn't do so because they felt poor. And now when they are maybe suddenly making money or winning money or got some inheritance, they feel like in spotlight. They feel like they're, they reach your level or even above whatever it is. They are kind of, they're worthy. Okay. They felt like they're not worthy of you. And now they feel like, yeah, I can finally actually contact you because uh, before that, they felt mm, you probably would say no. Okay, maybe they felt like they didn't have enough money or they didn't have some sort of status. Okay, why this card came out? Look at this. Look at this. Like happy ever after. Something is really. There could be a person as well. Different situation. Um, your loved one or your person that you've been living together or being together. Um, I have uh asked you to marry them and or moving together or saying that you are boyfriend girlfriend or really. Or it could be just a friend as well, new, new friend or kind of reconnection. I feel like there's some mm, reconnection, reactivity. And it kind of feels like you are picking up where you left. All right. Okay, let's ask what else for group number three. Here we go. It's the world. You've been here before. You are there again. Some sort of closure is happening. And of course, full moon is full of um, close closures and and the cycle is complete, right? So you're moving into next. So what, where is this going? Where is Where are you going? Five of Cups. Somehow, sometimes when things are turning so quickly, <laughs> interesting, things are turning too quickly, you do not have that capacity to quickly adapt, maybe as quick, okay? Why you have Five of Cups? I don't want to see. These two cards are coming out. Mm. Sometimes maybe you feel like, are you ready? Or is this too much? too quick too soon um there could be as well some sort of job offer happening and you feel like oh hold on a second there's so much stuff is happening at the moment this is proposal as well it could be from person as a love relationship offer it could be as well work offer because we have king of pentacles and with that kind of feels like wow some so much is happening and in such a brief moment it kind of feels like you don't have enough time to actually kind of go through and digest it okay uh is there anything else you need to know about this group number three quite interesting reading for you guys i have to say and you're like shall i go with this shall i dive in okay or you feel like oh shall i just um see what happens okay you feel like you're very sometimes you maybe maybe you are earth sign you have earth sign in your chart doesn't matter but you kind of feel like okay maybe wait a day or two or a little bit time okay time will tell time will we will see okay but look when the sun comes in your reading it really illustrates that seek the love and light hence flowers and plants always have you noticed they always reach the light however you want to move the plant around they will always turn their leaves and the flowers to the light the same is for you seek siege uh, reach or seek love and light always here we go page of wands okay do not take yourself too seriously and let your hair down a little bit there's some sort of playfulness happening in your life right now okay queen of pentacles and king of pentacles some real strong this is these are counterparts you finally met together so you know what enjoy enjoy that connectivity and connection and whatever comes with it and Time will tell where it goes. That's called life, right? All right, my beautiful self. Thanks so much for being here. I'm sending you love and light. And I shall see you in the next reading.